this morning I want to talk about our sump real quick because it's a really important part of our system here. Uh, we like to run all of our towers at ground level so that we can walk through them, that we can take care of them, spray them, we can do everything. Uh, take the towers down, harvest. Essentially just makes life a lot easier for us when our towers are at ground level as opposed to hanging high up in the air over a fish tank or something like that. So to do that, we use essentially uh, drain pipes and we run all of those drain pipes down here into our sump tank. So a sump tank is a component in a lot of aquaponic systems and it's, it's a pretty good deal. So I'll take the cover off here and then I'm going to talk about it a little bit. So this is our sump tank and for this we're just using an IVC. Uh, it'll hold almost 300 gallons. So uh, what we've done here is we've basically dug out a pit and we've dropped our IVC down in the ground. And our water, our return from our fish is here. Our return from our plants comes in on the other side. And what it does for us is it lets everything just kind of run down into this low spot. Um, we've also inset our pump down here so that we're not pulling water. Um, if you guys are installing some of these larger pumps, you know that they don't draw water uh, very well. So by doing this, we're able to kind of keep that pump down at uh, water level and just kind of reduce the strain if we run out of water if something crazy happens we're not gonna we're not gonna ruin our pump or put more wear and tear on our pump than is necessary. So this kind of a setup works really nicely for what we're doing and I definitely encourage more folks to look at sump tanks um, when they're setting up their system. So if uh, you're looking for information on it online look up uh, CHOP system, CHOP systems or shift piss CH C-H-I-F-T-P-I-S-T system. And um, essentially what, what they're doing is they're just, uh, you know, they allow you to run everything at ground level with one pump. And that's the big deal. Uh, constant height one pump is chop, and a con uh, shift piss is constant height in fish tank, uh, pump in sump tank. Um, and, and what those systems are just kind of Nice little designs for, for making these systems work really easily and really nicely. And uh, another thing this does for us is it's kind of a turbulence thing. So when the waste from the fish tank comes in, it hits this, uh, it goes into some tank, and the turbulence down there just kind of smashes up a lot of the solids that are flowing in. And the reason we like that is because it breaks them down into smaller size so that it can circulate them through our tower system without a whole lot of clogging. Um, and that basically allows us to eliminate almost all of our filtration requirements for this system as far as traditional aquaculture filtration goes. It allows us to distribute those solids and let our towers really do all of the filtration work. Every time you add carbonate to your system, you relinquish some level of control. So every time you're putting carbonates into your system, whether it's topping off, okay, whether it's in some kind of carbonate, you lose control over 